Premiere has been redesigned to include a ribbon. In this video, we'll get you up to speed with how the ribbon works. Everything about the ribbon is context sensitive. The type of active view and what is in the project determines which ribbon tabs you see, the options on those tabs, and which options are active or inactive. We aim to provide the tools you need where and when you need them. We'll go through a couple of examples. The View tab is different according to the visual tools you'll need in each view. In Layout View, there are Story and Level Viewing options. In Frame View, it has Frame Navigation options. And in 3D View, there are options for changing the visibility of the model. Some tools are in multiple tabs, such as the Building tools, needed in the dedicated tabs for roofs, floors and wall panels in Layout View. These common tools are available in most tabs, and the main tools in the view are shown at the heart of the ribbon. Tools are shown as inactive if you can't use them in the project right now. The file menu is always shown and contains options external to the project. Project wide options, such as adding stories and sharing the model, are on the Home tab. There are single buttons for single tools and single buttons for tools of the same type. We also have split buttons. Select the top part of a split button to use the tool shown, or select the bottom part to view the other tools. Some split buttons are sticky during the session, or sticky when the tool is in use. This provides quicker access to your last used tools. The beam and column tools are sticky in session, so the tool you use last will be shown as the ribbon icon until you close the project. The attic room tools are sticky in use, so the image changes to show the selection, but once you exit the tool, the image returns to the standard button. Launcher buttons are available to open settings related to the tools in a group. If you see a launcher image on a button, it means it opens a dialog. Drawing options are on the view tab, and any individual drawing options are indicated with the eye symbol. The ribbon is responsive to changes in window size, so icons will resize to fit smaller screens. You can also place your cursor on the ribbon or the tab headers and use the mouse wheel to scroll between tabs. Next, watch the second video in this series to learn about the new tools and enhancements we've added alongside the ribbon.